Hi everyone, Jamie Salinas here and welcome to the channel, Art of Magic. In this episode, we're going to discuss about what to do when you are approached or asked to perform some magic at a moment's notice. All right, welcome back to the program. If you are new to the channel, thanks for joining us. If you are a regular watcher, thanks for liking, thanks for commenting, and thanks for subscribing. Now, in this episode, I want to talk to you about what happens when you're out in, a, uh, in an environment where you are not being paid to perform. It is, it is basically a social type of situation. You're out with family and friends. Someone introduces you as a magician, and then uh, the new uh, your spectators say, oh, you're a magician, show me some magic. Now, th there are two different trains of thoughts on this. One is uh, that you politely decline because you are a professional. You do, not, uh, you do not dance monkey dance when someone tells you to. Uh, now, I, I totally get it. I totally understand it. If you were an accountant, um, people are not going to say, oh, you're an accountant? Great. Can you add some numbers for me? Balance my checkbook for me? No, they're not going to ask you that. Uh, however, as a magician, I think that's a much different, unique, uh, unique occupation to be in. And I personally believe that if someone asks me, hey, can you show me some magic? Absolutely. So I always carry with me my phone. Now everybody carries their phone with them, and if you if you watched the last episode of Art of Magic, you saw where I recommended an app. Uh, the app is called Digital Force Bag. So if you get a chance uh, and have not watched the program, why don't you go ahead and pause this video? In fact, you know what? Yes, pause it right now, and then go back with a new search win uh, another window and open up and watch the previous episode. Go ahead. I'll wait. Okay, I'm kidding, I'm really not gonna wait. But if you do get a chance and have not seen that episode, go back and take a look. I go into detail about uh, about the app and why I like it so much. So basically, I have something I can perform with my phone. Uh, I also carry in my pocket, I carry my wallet. My wallet is something I carry with me at all times. There's a couple of effects that I carry inside here. One is from Paul Carnazzo, uh, Mental Voyage. If you go to his website, Mental Voyage, Dot com. Uh, I'll put a link here for you. Uh, check it out. He's got some really great ideas and some really great magic minimalism that fits in your wallet. I also have some loops inside my wallet and I have another effect called To Do Voodoo and it's created by Rick, Rick Lax. It's a very simple effect, very straightforward, direct, easy to do and it's pretty damn amazing. So that's something else I always carry in my wallet. Uh, most of the time when I'm out and about, in my pocket, I carry my coins. Where are my coins? Oh, I, I don't have them in my pocket. Just a minute. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, this is a very small, thin coin purse. You set very, very thin. This little coin purse goes inside my front pocket and I carry with me a coin routine. Uh, something that's very visual, very strong. So if I'm in a place where it's really loud and noisy, then I can I can perform uh, something very quick and visual. So again, coins in my front pocket, uh, back pocket, my wallet with a couple of routines. I have my phone with a pen and a piece of paper. Uh, I can perform some other effects as well. So I've got a list of routines uh, that I like to do that, that are seemingly impromptu, and many of them are technically impromptu uh, with things that I can perform from items around uh, near me. So again, my personal opinion is I believe you should be able to perform at a moment's notice. You should be able to dance monkey dance. However, keep it short, keep it simple. Again, try not to be the sole center of focus. And if people ask to see more, Hand out your business card as you would a lawyer who would give out some simple short advice and say, well, you know what? Give me a call sometime. Uh, join my mailing list. Find out where I'll be performing next at a public show and come on out and enjoy the magic. So that's really, to me, a, a better way than to turn someone completely flat down or refuse 
uh, to perform magic. So I want to hear what your thoughts are. So uh, type in your comments below. Let me know how you handle those situations when you're asked to perform at a moment's notice. And what do you carry in your pockets? I want to know. I want to know what kind of magic you walk around with. Um, so, so please do put that in the comments. I'd, I'd like to find out what's going on with you. Now, in my previous episode, I received some comments, so I'd like to read some of those for you now. Uh, now, uh, uh, Tabrez and Robin, uh, they are mind readers, a duo act. They write in, great video, Jamie. Keep up the great work. I'm going to, add, uh, I'm going to have to add this to my shopping cart now. Well, uh, let me know how it works out for you guys. I want to hear from you, so let me know what you think of the app. Uh, let's see, Miami's number one corporate event magician, Amazing Adam, he writes in, it's a great app. Too bad you're letting the cat out of the bag. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So uh, Amazing Adam kind of wishes that I didn't tell you guys uh, how great this, this app is. Uh, Jay Braggart writes in, I haven't seen many magic apps uh, that interest me, but Digital Force Bag seems to be something that I would actually use. Thanks for sharing and keep up the good work. Thanks, Jay. I hope things are going well for you. Uh, also, our consistent uh, commenter, Eric Stevens writes in, I have never purchased a digital magic app as I do very few phone related effects, but digital force bag seems like a solid contender. I have, however, seen various apps which appear to do similar effects and Daniel Garcia teaches a very clever non-app based idea with the phone's notes functions in his Penguin Live lecture. What makes this app better or different uh, from the rest? Uh, well, I did reply to Eric. I do remember Daniel showing me his idea many, many years ago, what he does, and it, it's a really great idea. So if you don't already have Daniel Garcia's uh, uh, Penguin Live lecture, I highly recommend you purchase that and get that uh, downloaded uh, today. And you can find out how he how he has created something that you can use, use it's built into your phone. Uh, as far as comparing it to other apps, again, I'm not a big app phone app person, so I don't have a lot of others to compare it to. So uh, uh, I want to hear from you guys. Are there some other apps that are similar? Uh, what are, Again, what are you using? Well, anyway, I'm, I'm trying to keep these shorter, uh, so I, I, I do want to thank everyone for joining us. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And again, make sure you like the video, type up a comment, and make sure you subscribe as well. If you'd like to be notified when the episodes come out, hit the little bell icon down below, and that way you'll be notified uh, every time I produce a new episode. Episodes generally come out on Mondays. However, if things get in the way, uh, family events, uh, working too much, it may be a day or two delayed. But so far, I have kept my schedule of releasing a new video every Monday. Next weekend is going to be Easter Easter weekend. Uh, we have Good Friday, Easter Sunday. I may be out of town, so but I will do my best to make sure I get a video out on Monday. If not, definitely Tuesday, hopefully at the latest. So I'll see you next week, and uh, let me know what you think of what you would do in the situation when you are asked to dance. Dance, monkey, dance. I'll see you in the next episode.